this is Northeast Georgia Mountain Folk and welcome to our channel. We hope you enjoy our video. Where will we go from here? Thank you for watching and enjoy the video. Roswell is a city in northern Fulton County, Georgia. The 2019 estimated population was 94,763, making Roswell the state's ninth largest city. Its downtown area has numerous quaint restaurants and shops. A close suburb of Atlanta, Roswell has an affluent historic district. Roswell has much to offer visitors in history, nature, and more. Its unique 640-acre historic district has a trio of house museums that exhibit the city's 19th century roots. There's also the Chattahoochee River, woodland trails, marsh boardwalks, and bicycling bicycling for lovers of the outdoors. To understand Roswell, Georgia, we need to look back at its history. The city of Roswell was founded in 1839 by Roswell King, who moved to the area in 1836. Dr. Francis Golding, an early Roswell resident and author of children's books, invented the sewing machine. Unfortunately, this machine is not associated with his name because he failed to obtain a patent. Martha Mitty Bullock Roosevelt the mother of the 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt, grew up at Bullock Hall. She was the daughter of one of Roswell's first families, the Major James Stephen Bullock family. Mitty's other son, Elliot, became the father of Eleanor Roosevelt, who would later marry President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, a distant cousin. Roswell King established the Roswell Manufacturing Company and built a mill to harness the power of the local rivers to make textiles. Roswell officially became a city on February 16, 1854. Union soldiers occupied Roswell from July 5th to July 17, 1864 on their march to Atlanta. The Roswell Manufacturing Company mill, located on Vickery Creek, became a vital part of the South's early cotton industry prior to the Civil War. During the Civil War, mill workers produced Confederate officers' uniforms that were known as Roswell Gray. In 1864, Union General W.T. Sherman ordered soldiers to torch the mill on its march to the sea in, in 1864, but it was rebuilt in 1882. It was destroyed again by a lightning strike. The mill was rebuilt and continued in operation until July 1975. The final order commissioned from the mill was ordered by First Lady Jackie Kennedy for the Lincoln bedroom. The mill was reopened as a special event facility in the early 1990s.